Okay, um, afternoon, Codge Biker here on the bridge. That's not unusual, is it? But look, I'm using Waze with my Bluetooth dongle and uh, it's showing me my speed, showing me where to go. Dr. John's always telling me where to go behind, aren't you, John? Yeah, absolutely. It's easier. Um, but uh, yeah, I do like Waze because I couldn't find a way of getting the um, speed um, readout on um, Google Maps. So anyway, here's how I eventually got the Bluetooth working on my NT1100 with a dongle. And the other reason I like Waze is because you get a white screen or a, and you can have a black screen for your user modes or whatever. So you can't do that with Google Maps as far as I know. Whereas Waze, there's a nice clear screen on it. There's, way, there's ways to do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, in this box there is a thing. There's all different types of these things, but this thing was about £60. So I'm hoping that the Air to Air Pro wireless adapter will do the job. I blame Apple for this. It really makes these cardboard boxes now that are so tight you can't get them open. <laughs> it's bigger than I expected. The anyway, first thing I'm going to do is pair it with my phone, if it will, um, while powering it up in the house. You get two leads, you get a USB-C to USB-C, a user manual, some double-sided tape, I'm guessing, stick it down. First thing to point out is that my phone is from 2019. Yes, children, we had phones back before COVID. So uh, your phone may be faster, mine's quite old. Um, just to make it as fast as I can, I've disabled sounds, various other apps that are on Spotify, various other apps that could appear within Android Auto. And I've just got the default, which is exit, maps, phone, settings, and ways. Um, just to minimize uh, delays on, the, on my phone. Phone works fine. Um, but as I say, it's five years old. Your phone may work better. Okay, before you ask where I got it from, I got it off the old eBay. There's no point in asking for a link because those links never last, do they? It's about 60 pounds. Okay, all right, plug it in. What happens? Oh, it's gone red. Don't know what that means. There's a button here. Press that button. Oh, that's probably going into pairing, would be my guess. On. Will it find anything? Hmm, auto thingy. Look. Pairing. Bluetooth podcast da da pair. Looking for Android Auto. So it's paired and now it's looking for Android Auto. So hopefully if I plug that into the bike, that will now run. We shall see. Android Auto is available, look. So the phone that thinks it's an Android Auto isn't, it's connected to that. But when that's connected to the bike, hopefully that will sort that out. Don't know where I'm going to stick this thing though. I'll we'll find out. I can just have the phone in pocket. Don't have to worry about it.
you say hello to the people on the television. Hello. Now, one issue I discovered. Now, I tried many USB leads, and the, the one that came with it is quite short. It was the only one that would fit inside the USB and the USB slot on the bike and fold into the holder and then work with the dongle. Lots of these other ones would uh, lots of these other ones would work with the dongle. But all the GoPro ones, but because they've got such a long USB um, plug, it won't fit inside the bike. You can't um, close the waterproof shutter on it. Now the short one did work with uh, data and power and did fit inside, but was too short to reach to the handlebars. It was okay when I had it cable tied to the bike, but uh, it was no good after that. Every GoPro one worked, but every GoPro one's got this great big long plug. Now the ones that did fit inside, I discovered most of them, in fact all of them, wouldn't work with the data. Whether they're too slow for the data or the data's not wired in and they're just for power, I don't know. But all the short plugs, the reason I fasten them together is because they don't work on the bike. So in the end, I found that there was one that was short and did the data and I bought it off Amazon. I've got no affiliate links, nothing to do with me, but this one worked, so I'll put it up. Please don't ask me for links. I just bought it. That particular one fitted inside the USB plug. I was able to power the device and work with the data on the bike. So that's the one I've used. It said it was half a meter. It isn't, but I bought the uh, half a meter version of it. So that was, as you can see, was pretty straightforward. The only difficulty I had with it was uh, finding the right lead. There's plenty of leads that will do the data and the charging. There's loads of leads that will do just the charging, but finding a data and charging lead that will fit inside the USB connector was the difficult bit. So I know people are going to ask which one I use. I haven't got any affiliate loot to Amazon or anything like that, but this is the one I used. So do a search on Amazon if you uh, want to try the same one. What am I? Cable supply company? And on that note... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, yeah? And on that note, <laughs> Guide Your Biker is hearing voices in his head again. And out! La, 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 la. Right, you can come past now. I'm done.